Mark Andreessen was the co-founder of Netscape Navigator. Remember Netscape Navigator back in the dark early days of the internet. So Mark was one of the co-founders of that, and he went on to uh, become one half of Andreessen Horowitz, major uh, venture capitalist firm in the Valley. Mark is involved in just about every conceivable online company you can think of, everything from eBay to Facebook. Mark, if he's not invested in it, he's advising to it. So a really, really savvy guy. When Mark says something, people listen to what he's saying. He came out recently in a Wired Magazine article where he said, point blank, retail is dead. He said, if you're a retailer, turn out the lights, close the door, it's over. Basically, he said, software is eating retail. And so, as you can imagine, analysts in the, in the retail community freaked out. Everybody started debating this on both sides. Some people said, that's ridiculous. We're always going to need physical stores. Other people said, no, just look, look at the other verticals. Look at the travel industry. Look at the banking industry. All these industries are under siege from technology. And so I decided to just sort of be less passionate about this and just sort of for a moment take a look at some of the data that a guy like Mark Andreessen would be looking at when he makes a statement like that. And you have to agree that the data is pretty compelling. In 2014, for example, one and a half trillion dollars in e-commerce was conducted worldwide. Now, if the one and a half trillion dollars doesn't kind of blow your mind, which it might not, because you don't have anything to compare it to, what should impress you is the growth figure of that number. Because that's a 23% year-on-year growth factor. A massive amount of growth. Now, just to put a point on it, how many of you heard about Singles Day? Singles Day in China, right? So Singles Day, for those of you that don't know, is sort of the Chinese equivalent of Cyber Monday, where everyone's encouraged to go online and buy. Alibaba.com, in the first hour of Singles Day, transacted $3.9 billion in e-commerce. Say what? <laughs> well, that's a ridiculous amount of money, right? A ridiculous volume of commerce in one hour. So I had to sort of wrap my head around that. That's $65 million a minute that was being transacted in the first hour of Singles Day. Now, just to put that figure in perspective, the average Home Depot does about half of that in a year. So Alibaba, in every minute of the first hour of Singles Day, was conducting what two Home Depots sell in a year. Just between 2012 and 2013, there was an increase of about 71% in the number of brands going direct to consumer. And why are they doing it? They're doing it because we want them to. They're not doing it because they're evil and they're trying to you know, circumvent retail. They're doing it because we want to buy directly from brands as consumers. We want that relationship with Nike or with Adidas. And certainly, a guy like Mark Andreessen is savvy enough to see what's going on in the environment. All these old, established, conventional brands are closing their stores or downsizing their stores, or struggling to get online, as Walmart is struggling right now. 